In the last couple of uh, screencasts, we talked about uh, multiplying polynomials. Uh, today we're going to start talking about dividing polynomials. And we're going to use algebra tiles in this screencast to uh, sort of explain how it works. And so you can visually get a picture of it. Well, first of all, I want to talk about relationship between dividing and multiplying since we just did multiplying. And the first example here I've got is 12 divided by 4. Well, 12 divided by 4, of course, well, of course is 3. Uh, how do we check that? How do we know that 3 is the correct answer? If I wanted to check my work, what I do is this. I would just actually go backwards here and I'd multiply my answer times the 4 and see if I get the first number 12. And uh, the dividend 12, the divisor is 4, and the, qu and the uh, quotient here is 3. So um, 3 times 4 gives me 12. And that, so let's just write that out. 12 does it equal 4 times 3? Well, it does, and so we know our answer is correct. Three, uh, 4 goes into 12 three times. Uh, visually, how do we look at this? Well, I drew a little, uh, some 12 little boxes here on the side, so I took the 12, and I grew, drew them in groups of 4, because we're dividing it by 4. We're saying, how many groups of 4 can we get out of 12? And so we have one group of 4, add another group of 4 to it, which gives us 8. And we have another group of 4, which finally gives us 12. So 3 groups of 4 gives us 12. So the answer is 3. 3 groups of 4. And this is similar, drawing this here is similar to doing algebra tiles. And so let's uh, get into algebra tiles right now. And uh, just to remind ourselves that uh, when it comes to algebra tiles, uh, this first big one here is a square, and so the area is x squared. This one here is x by 1, which is just area is just x. So x squared and x, and this is just 1 by 1, so the area is just 1. Um, and of course, these next to it, we've have, we have had the same shapes, but there's no color in them, and so this is negative x squared negative x and negative 1. And so uh, that's going to just a reminder of what we did previously some lessons ago just again. Uh, so here's here's an example. Example 2 here. 6x squared divided by 2x. What we do is, I've kind of set up the first one for us. Uh, we take and we put, um, we've got the 2x. So this is x and this is x, that's 2x, you put them beside each other there and that we're going to treat it like a multiplication except we don't know the other side of the multiplication here, we don't know what that is but we do know the answer, when you multiply these two together the answer times the 2x, we're going to get this here, well 6x squared, so this is an x squared all of these are x squareds, so there's three of them up here three of them down there, I just, I just basically Put the answer down. I'm given the answer. I need to find the missing side though. So how do I get this to work? What would be the missing side? Well, basically I just need to draw the shapes. So if I draw, I just roughly, I'm just going to roughly draw the shapes here. This shape will be like that. This shape will also be like that. And I've got another one, the same thing. Rough those in. And uh, we also know that to get a positive here, we're talking positive x squared, so it must be a positive times a positive, so I fill this in a little bit to show us that that is going to be positive. This is the same thing here, and the last one is the same thing. And so what have we got there? We've got an x, an x here, an x there, an x there, so this gives us 3x. And this side here, we've got two x's, so two x. The answer then will be three x. And does three x times two x give us six x squared? Yes, it does. Two times three is six. X times x is x squared. We did it correctly. Let's go on to the next example. And we're going to do this one from scratch. We'll have to draw it. Just rough this out. Well, first of all, what have I got here? I've got two x. 
So let's just write that, draw that 2x out then again. We've got, uh, I'm gonna, we'll make one side here. 1x, another x. We've got the one side drawn. This is one of the you know, multipliers that would give us the answer of 4x squared minus 6x. 4x squared, let's put 4x squared down then. Well, 4x squared, let's put 1x squared here. So there's, there's an x squared. Let's put another x squared. And two more. Make sure they're evenly split up here. Okay, so roughly you find this is x squared and x squared. So there's four of them. And now we've got minus 6x. Okay, the other thing is we've got to make sure we don't forget here that this thing here, they've got to fill this in. This is a positive 2x. This is a positive, sorry, positive x here. Positive x is positive 2x. This is a positive x squared, another positive x squared. These are four positive x squareds. Let's put them in green. We'll fill them in a little bit so we can remember that those are positive. And then what we're going to do is we need to have minus 6x. So in this case here we're going to have 6x's. So 1, that's kind of fat, but I guess it's okay. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 x is here. And so uh, those are empty because it's minus 6x. That's a minus. So again, we have an x. It's actually minus x, minus x, minus x and a minus x there. Okay, so what is the top going to be? Well, first of all, if I'm going to get a look at this first x squared here, it's positive. So a positive times a positive. So this one here has to be another positive x. This one here also is positive. I'm looking at, I'm, okay, and it says to be a positive x as well. What about this over here? Well, I've got 3, so what time is positive x going to be negative x? Well, negative 1. I'll give me that. This was an x here, and this is an x there. And another negative one will do the same thing. And another negative one will do this one. Those are empty. And so my answer then is going to be two x's right here, two x minus three. And there we go. And we can test that by multiplying 2x times that to see if I get the 4x squared. So let's just do that really quickly here. We'll take the uh, 2x minus 3. We're going to multiply that by the 2x and see what we get here. We have 4x squared times that is minus 6x. And that is exactly what we got at the top of the screen here. And so we know we did it right. So uh, excellent. And that's basically an idea of how you want to handle uh, these algebra tiles when you're doing division of polynomials.